it going folks, CR here, and we have another special case, it seems. This guy on Twitter, uh, his name is Wyatt Vincent Parsons, and his handle is at HAL9001, and he literally spells that out. This dude uh, is a comedian from Missouri. Uh, you know, and I, I don't know really how much of a comedian I would call this person. I mean, I don't think any of his so-called jokes are funny. But he, he's decided he wanted to uh, pick a fight, and I think he's trying to set a record of how much you can say with the least room to say it. <laughs> Let's start out with uh, the tweet of mine that he quoted, uh, and I'm going to start with this quote. Uh, with what he said is a response. Are you mad my first comedy set has more views than the video you pinned to your profile where you tried to mark a teenage school shooting survivor? And I'm pretty sure he meant to say teenage, but uh, you're triggered, right? That's what this is all about. And then he has a link to the video. And I, I thought this was going to be a video with thousands of views or something like that, you know. But it turns out, I mean, when I went there, it only had 369 views. <laughs> uh, you know, I do have videos with more views than that. D just so you know. And by the way, I, you know, this YouTube thing it isn't a profession for me. I have a day job that pays a lot more money. You know, so if my videos don't get views, I I'm not too upset. As, as for Trigger, dude, um, that's your side of the aisle. Your side of the aisle started talking about being triggered over stuff like microaggressions. <laughs> so, I mean, accusing me of being triggered over this is pretty comical to me. <clears throat> as for the video, I guess she didn't watch the video, um, uh, or didn't quite, uh, comprehend what I was saying there. And it's funny because your side of the argument is constantly trying to criminalize an activity that people like me engage in. It's constitutionally protected. Um, and really criminalizing this activity is not going to solve any problems. You know, the only thing it's going to do is just criminalize an activity that you don't like. But whenever we say, uh, no, you know, hold on a second, you're not passing that law. You know, we're tired of seeing our activity criminalized. All of a sudden, we're the ones who are just triggered and buttered, as you put it. Uh, no, dude, we have a legitimate complaint. You know. But, anyway, let's continue on. Um, it's a... Ah, uh, uh, shit, let's... I love how anti-gun sense is full of people who think that they can fight off Uncle Sam with their guns, and yet they can't even handle people online. And he's got a screen cap of Greg Camp blocking him. Now, I've tweeted with Greg Camp for some time. Um, he and I run into each other on Twitter. We're both Second Amendment defenders. Um, he and I have had discussions where we disagree on certain other topics. Uh, Greg Camp doesn't just block you because you disagree. Greg Camp is the type of person who just doesn't want to sit there and trade insults. Now, I, however, have no problem with sitting there trading insults with you, dude. Um, I can do that, too. But, you know, you really are throwing stones from a glass here, a uh, house here, because your side of the aisle is the one that loves to block. Whether it's SJWs blocking anybody who triggers them or gun controllers like yourself blocking anybody who defends Second Amendment issues. You know, Shannon Watts has the largest block party on Twitter. She has blocked people who haven't said a damn thing to her. <laughs> I mean, that's how big her block party is. You want to go through gun control? I am blocked by several gun control groups. A lot of people. Your the people on the gun control side are very happy blockers. So, again, you're throwing stones from a glass house here, dude. Uh, shoot. 
Let's see. All right. In this one, he's addressing uh, Destroyer. Uh, you know, Tyler, I, it's amazing how you and your ilk claim that guns are the end-all, be-all protection, yet your Molin Lave battle cries are never followed by an address. I've told you uh, many uh, anti-gun sense cowards, I've told many anti-gun sense cowards like yourself where to find me zero have showed. Hmm. Well, let's start by responding to the first part of it. Nobody on my side of the aisle claims that guns are the end-all, be-all solution to everything. We don't think there's some sort of magic wand. They are, however, an effective personal protection tool, and nobody has found an invention quite like a firearm yet that could be a replacement for a firearm when you need it. This, this is why a lot of, you know, you little anti-right to own firearms talking heads such as Michael Bloomberg, Shannon Watts, you know, they have armed security. Uh, you know, they themselves don't even believe that firearms are a bad thing for personal protection. Just watch their actions. <coughs> um, Yet your Molin Lobby battle cries are never followed by an address. There is no advantage to us giving anonymous strangers on the internet our address. First off, most of you people are too chicken shit to show up when we're there to begin with. Second, um, even if you did, that would be a stupid choice on your part. Um, third, none of us really want to explain in a court of law after the fact, why we thought it was a good idea to give a potential threat our home addresses. Okay, you're going to have a lot of trouble explaining that one in the court of law. Third, our biggest concern is not that uh, you're actually going to show up. It's that you're going to swat us, or you're going to try to find out where we work and get us fired. Or you're going to try to see if you can't send an angry mob of Black Lives Matter or something like that to our home. That's our concern. Again, you know, you're throwing rocks from a glass house here, dude. Uh, all right, let's continue on. Uh. <laughs> uh. Is that why you keep on liking your pal's uh, grade school taunts against me, Tyler? It's amazing how anti-gun sense people love to dish out, but can't take it in return. Come back uh, when you're man enough to post your ugly mug on your account. This is your final dismissal. And, of course, uh, the tweet he's responded to <laughs> is, you know, from Destroyer again. You know why it... Uh, not all of us care about your grace school toss to prove who has the more courage. Get back to me once you mature. And you know what, uh, Wyatt, he's right. Um, it doesn't take any courage to taunt somebody online. Uh, I, I do it all the time. But again, this is another case where you're throwing stones from a glass house. A lot of your little gun control friends, including yourself, love to throw taunts all the time. And the thing is, people on my side of the aisle tend to take it, and then we throw a taunt back at you. You guys get butt hurt. You guys are the ones that have the issues with getting taunted back. So, I don't know, I, I don't know where you're coming from on this one. I don't know what you're expecting to accomplish with that statement there. <coughs> yeah, of course, there's another one. Tweeted from an anonymous safe place, and he's quoting uh, Louisville Gun. Um... <laughs> So here's the thing, dude. Not everyone wants their personal information on the internet. And again, it's people on your side of the aisle 
that will tend to engage in life ruination tactics. Things like swatting. Things like trying to get somebody fired from their job. You know, things of that nature. And then you'll accuse us of being triggered afterwards, you know. Well, uh, again, you know, you're not coming from anywhere on that one. Uh, it's perfectly reasonable not to want to get swatted, you know, not to want to lose your job. On the other hand, at least my side is mature enough to where when we have that occasional asshole who does something like swats David Hogg's family, uh, you know, people on my side at least have the principle to condemn shit like that. People on your side cheer that on. Get the fuck out of here with this. What dope are you smoking, dude? And that's not a baseless accusation either. I guess somebody found your criminal record. <laughs> uh, shoot. But anyway, here's the quote, by the way, that you were responding to with Louisville gun owner, LMAO. Uh, why on earth would I go out of my way to meet a petty criminal? What would you do, Sticks? Whine about me how life isn't fair, or whine at me about how life isn't fair. And... <laughs> that is, uh, funny as shit. Well, let's see. A marijuana charge, 35 grand, speeding ticket, failing to stop for a school bus. Those are the charges, by the way, and I'm going to be an ass about this one. So... Yeah, again, when I say what dope are you smoking, that's not a baseless statement at all, dude. In fact, just in case I haven't uh, screen capped this as is, there we have it. Right there. Alright, let's see. Speaker Circle at Mizzou Campus in Columbia, MO, Sunday every 2 p.m. I go there, uh, I go every Sunday for the rest of my life. Your bitch ass will still never show. Um, I hate to break it to you, dude, but a lot of us have a lot better things to do than to go meet your ass in person. Nobody really cares, you know. We're not going to your stupid comedy show. We're not going to help put money in your pockets. There's really nothing productive that's going to come out of meeting you. Now, if we were somebody like, <coughs> say, Owen Schroyer, whose profession is to go out <coughs> and interview people like you, then you'd have a point. But then again, at that point, uh, part, you guys scream, run, have security escort people like Owen Schroer out of there anyway. So you guys really don't want to have a discussion. And by the way, the other concern with us showing up there is that you call the police and make up some sort of fucking charge or swat us while we're there. You know? Uh, again, we don't want to set ourselves up for something like that. And... I don't put it past people like you to do stuff like that. <laughs> uh, shoot. Let's see. Um, he has a hashtag, fuck your feelings, uh, and basically the person he's quoting is a guy named Sean Brennan. Does hating this woman and piling on further your career? When has it become uh, an acceptable uh, method for career advancement? And uh, again, you know, you're the one, uh, one who's throwing rocks from a glass house here. Fuck your feelings. <laughs> That's your side of the argument that uh, is always talking about their feelings. And by the way, I mean, isn't Mizzou, isn't that that campus that uh, got in some hot water because one of their professors decided she was going to call some muscle over 
on a journalist who was trying to report on what was going on there. On a, you know, student journalist. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the textbook case of a typical deluded lefty who's trying to be edgy here. <laughs> Y'all think you're easy out there. Have a great day. Wyatt, uh, you need to get a better grasp on reality. Ha, ha, ha.